Dear student of grade 10, we'll do exercise 3.2. We have linear equation in two variables. Question number one. First question. Here, you are going to uh, solve, uh, make an equation and solve it graphically. We have to find the value of x and y also. In exercise 3.1, we just have to represent, but here we have to find the value of uh, x and y also. Grade 10 student, uh, 10 student of grade 10 took part in a math quiz if the number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys. Find the number of boys and girls. We don't know what is the number of boys and girls. We just take, let the number of boys be x and the number of girls be y. So, as per question, there are 10 students together, so x plus y is 10, equation 1. Also, second part is, number of girl, girl is y, is 4 more than the, plus 4, 4 more than the boys, so this is equation 2. Now, we are going to represent it graphically, so from equation 1, what we can do is, 1 implies, x plus y equal to 10 so we can find out by 10 minus x make a box x y try to find three value you can find two value also no problem but when you make a fine three value we know that our graph is correct if it comes straight line so for example see if it is 3 value, we we'll get a straight line. 3 value can make, sh if the points are put wrong, see, the line is not coming straight. But 2 point will be always a straight line. We have to get a straight line in a graph. So 3 point give a, uh, may, uh, with 3 point, you can correct your solution also, whether it's right or wrong. But it's okay if you find two point also, if you are sure of it. So question number, this one, if I put the value of x as 3, I'll get 7. If I put 4, I'll get, or say 5, 10 minus 5 is 5. If I put 7, I'll get 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. Let's find for equation 2 also y equal to x plus 4 make a box x y if i put 1 1 plus 4 is 5 if i put 3 3 plus 4 is 7 if i put 5 5 plus 4 is or just say if i put 2 or 0 0 plus 4 is 4. We can find as much as you want. Now we have to plot this point on the graph. First point is, for a first figure is, uh, first equation is 3 is 7. So 3 is, you'll go 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Second point is, 5 is 5, 5 is 5. Third point is, 3 is 7 or 7 is 3 7 is 1 2 3 you can draw a line next after drawing a line you can draw a line after drawing a line you can plot the point for other equation also 1 is 5 1 is 5 see 1 is 5 1 2 3 4 5 then here 3 is 7 3 is 7 it's here and 0 is 4 0 is 4 so what you can do you can make a line here You can write 0 for the point 
or you can just write this point also it's up to you this is one is five three is seven here five is five and here seven is three now see in exam time this thing you have to do in your main exam sheet and this one in the exam sheet there is a paper okay graph paper you have to do in the graph paper and this must be in the main answer sheet now see the graph where does it intersect this is intersecting that means it has unique solution it has one value of x and one value of y so x become 3 y become 7 you have to write this like that since the line intersect at p 3 7 it has unique solution that means it has only one value of x and one value of y therefore x is 3 and y is 7 so you got the number of boys and girls you can write number of boys is 3 and number of girls is 4 oh, sorry not 4 7 you can pause the video to write the solution thank you